Hello, my name is Candy Rosenberg, and I am thrilled to show you how to use the Tattered Angels Naturally Aged Paint Systems, which is a combination of their mists and glazes to create these beautiful, unbelievably beautiful faux finishes on paper and other surfaces such as wood. We have these beautiful corbels from Woodcrafts that I'm going to show you the ones that I've already created with this system, and then I'm going to show you how to use this system on these wonderful decorative brackets. So the first one I want to show you is this uh, concrete. So let me get it up closer. Sorry for the shininess. So this is the sorry faux finish using the paint system. This was the finished corbel done with it. So you can see all the little variations and it actually does look like concrete. There's the plain wood on the back so you can really see it and it's just a matter of doing four simple steps and you can create this look on many different surfaces but look how beautiful the wood took it. And with the uh, paint system it doesn't soak heavily into the wood so no worries on that. It was just a very easy to do four simple steps and I have this beautiful look. Next I want to show you this deep, this beautiful mm -hmm. deep um, rich chestnut that I did another natural wood you can see on the back the detail mm -hmm. on it you can see the depth of it using the different steps in the paint system really shows you how to put those different colors in there to give you that look so now I'm going to show you how to make that concrete look using the naturally aged paint system architecture which is that concrete look that I showed you earlier on the bell. I want to show you how to make that on this little decorative wood bracket from Woodcrafts in four easy steps. This is one of my favorite paint systems. I just love how incredible the look comes out when you're done. So you start with the wood. Uh, just make sure that it's clean and wiped off. We're going to start with the first step. Using a brush we're going to coat the surface with the tan. And this is the tan high impact pigment from Tattered Angels and we're going to use a bigger brush for this so we can cover more surface. We're going to let some of the areas pool and not cover every little area either because we want some of the other colors in our steps down the road to fill in those areas as well. But We're just going to get a good overall um, tan background on this wood. I know this is probably barely noticeable on here. You can see a little bit of variation there. So we come in here. You can just use a you know nice big brush for this part of it. Make sure you do the top. You don't have to worry about the back. You just want to cover the majority of the surface. I'm going to have to get some more of this because I've just about used it all. I'm going to let some of that pool right there. Let me get some of the other color from my other project on there. I'm going to wipe my hands. Let that sit for just a quick moment. I just needed to wipe my hands. Sorry. Get some of the dark color from the last one that I did. We'll put that away for right now and make sure we got it all covered good. So the second step we're just going to arbitrarily spray the boardwalk limber mist onto the project leaving some of the areas without it and then we're going to blot it in with a brush and dry. So here's our boardwalk limber mist. When you're using your mist don't shake them up and down that creates bubbles and air in there and makes it splotchy. You just want to go just do it around in a circle kind of side by side. So we're just going to spray different areas. It's going to kind of pull together with the tan. Make sure you get the top. Just get the edges. And we're going to blot that with a brush. Another brush. Just blot it. There it is. I don't know how big 
one. Mm, just... I like the little brush because it just gives a little bit of texture on it. Dries. And it just blends tan and that boardwalk color together. Just a little more tan up in here. You just gotta kinda eyeball it a little bit, don't be afraid. Like, is it the look? Just a little bit on there. Alright, and then step three, we're going to spray a very small amount of Valencia, the chalkboard, which is the white, about four inches from the project in a semi concentrated area, and then we're going to blot and dry. This is what gives it that real concrete look. So some areas are concentrated, some are just misted, so we can have that variance. Not forget the top again. We're going to block and dry. You know, it's not looking like a lot yet. It takes a number of steps to get the final look. Bear with me. Your surface is getting a little wet here. <laughs> then we're going to spray the chalkboard about five to six inches away from the project in a hairspray motion. And that's the blue. So you want to get pretty far from it. Four to five inches so it's not too concentrated. And you can come in and do just a little tad just up in the corner. A little variance in there. We're going to blot it with the brush. Mm -hmm. That just gives a little variation in color there. Forget the top again. We need to get some blue on there. It's just amazing the look that it gives it. And I know that this doesn't show it super well. I'll have still pictures in the sunlight so you can see it real well. But this piece of wood was just a plain old piece of wood just a moment ago. And look how beautiful we've made it using this unbelievable paint system by Tattered Angels and the wood just took it well you see that it didn't soak it all in like crazy it just stayed on the surface blended really well in this wood and it turned out just beautiful it's really close to the bigger piece you can see that they're pretty close when it dries it takes on a little more color so I hope that helps you in using the faux finish system the paint system and there are many different kinds. There is a weathered birch and of course we have, you know, the weathered bronze and all kinds of different ones that are available with Tattered Angels. And you can use these again on paper, on wood, on many surfaces. It's a really great product. It's all water, uh, water based product. It's got a fast dry time. And in addition, because it is the Tattered Angels Glimmer Mist, it does leave this little tiny sheen that you're not going to see in this video, so it's got just a little bit of a, um, a glimmer to it, which gives it an added effect. Well, I hope that helped to inspire you, and you have a wonderful day.